Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of sets, relations and functions. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that an organization awarded 48 medals in event A, 25 medals in event B and 18 medals in event C. Then the question is further telling you if these medals went to total 60 men and only 5 men got medals in all the 3 events. So we have been given that the number of people who got medals in all the 3 events is 5. The question is asking us further how many of them received medals in exactly 2. So out of the three events, how many of the men received medals in exactly two of these three events? And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here, they are 10, 15, 21, and the last answer choice that is given to us here is 9. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. Let's solve this question further and let's figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. Let's see the solution. So we have been given three events occurring so if i draw the three circles for the three events which are present i have event a event b and event c and we have also been given that number of medals in each of these events so 48 medals are in event a 25 are in b and 18 medals are given in events once i have this with me i have also been told there are total 60 medals given to all of this men so in total means the addition of all the regions in the entire three circles, that is 60. Further, question also has given us that number of men who have received medals in all the three events are five. So this region is given as five. And they have asked us how many of the men have got medals in exactly two of these events. Exactly two means this region, this region, and this region. So we need to figure out the number of men who are present in this three regions, one, two, and three. So let's try to solve this. So if I see and try to develop the formula here, I know total, total means sum of all the regions which are present in all the three circles is equal to A plus B plus C. A plus B plus C means what you're doing basically is you are adding this entire first circle entire second circle and entire third circle. So A plus B plus C means you're adding these three circles. Now when you're adding these three circles, let's analyze the three regions that we have to find out. So this first region, when you're adding three circles, this first region comes in these two circles. This third region which is present, it also comes in these two circles and this region also comes in these two circles. So we have this three regions. So A plus B plus C, minus every region if you see it's added two times but we should add every region only once or we should basically consider the people present in this region only once so i'll subtract that region once so a plus b plus c minus only two or i can write exactly two which we have to figure out and this region if i see where people have got medals in all the three events this region is added how many times three times because you are adding the three circles a b c when this is added three times but all the people in this category should be added only once that's why we should subtract them two times so if i see now how to solve this question total we know there are 60 people a b c i know it's 48 25 and 18 only two means 
the thing which we have to find out that is basically exactly two the question which is asking us and two times all the three means two times five so from here i get this as exactly two means number of men who have participated in exactly two events or who have won more medals in exactly two events it's 48 plus 25 plus 18 Bringing 60 on the other side gives you minus 60 and minus 10. So from here I get 48 and 25 which is 68 and 73, 83 and 91. So 91 and minus 30. Not minus 30, minus 60 and minus 10 so minus 70. So 91 and minus 70 which is basically 20. So from here I get the answer for the question that how many men have won the medals in exactly two of the three events? That is basically 21. And if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option C. So C becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So we were given three events ABC. We were told that these are the number of medals that are won in A, B and C events. Then we were also told how many total men won the medals and how many men won in all the three events. So we just use the idea of Venn diagrams to draw the three circles and develop the formula. And once we developed the formula, we just found out how many men have got the medals in exactly two. That is basically 21. So 21 becomes the correct answer here. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on a everyday basis. Thank you.